Yeah, wet and dry. Even just a small branch was enough. One 100 mm -hmm. with rain gauge shows sprinklers not in yet. Didn't think it would be. Cows are all out there. I know, too dark to focus. But, yeah, I figured it wouldn't be in for a little bit. We didn't get it moved right away. And, yeah, things are down. I figured they would be. That was 11 o'clock. I think I looked outside and things were damp at that point in time. But, say, rain gauge only shows one one hundredth of an inch. Yeah, one of the bulls making noise. I think it's Wally. <coughs> Coming from that direction, anyway. Although, cowboy could be down or along the fence, too. So... I don't know what all is going to happen today besides move irrigation and work on some wiring. Going to be a few days before we're in the field. I should have brought the baler tractor home and tried to get more crap out of the tank. But what do you do, you know? I really don't want to have to pull the tank out. I'm hoping to think of a way to suck the crap out of there if we can. It's a little dark, but you can see who I got with her glow-in-the-dark binky. We just came back and fed the steers. Now she's after Ty again. Ah, yes, grumpy little... There, now we're down here in the light. <laughs> you farted! You farted! She said she had to have tea, so I handed her off. Well, I didn't have a choice. You farted! And I got about a half a step away. Hey, Apparently, yeah. somebody's making some stink this morning. <laughs> Do, 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 time to walk away. Oh well. Sure would be nice if that next bay was full. And a little ship somewhere else, but oh well. I got Shut up. I just got a, a feeling that with this late September weather. We may, not, my birthday yet either. we may not even cut anymore. Because I don't think it's going to happen. And we're supposed to have a, almost a week of this. This late, I think, falls pretty well. Yeah. Well, a couple other people in different areas have talked about falls here. I think it is. So, I don't know. It's going to be an expensive year. What do you think, Blakely? Is that one of your favorite things to do? Okay, now let's get off. I gotta go in the house and see Oma, huh? Gotta go see Oma, huh? Happy cows, right? Content, chilling. Heifers are over there having some oat hay. I've been attempting to get to work in the house. And right out here, should be in line with that tree in front of the neighbor's house. You see the thing moving? That would be a crane. That would be a kabod. They not only come out here to get slugs and frogs and whatever else like that, but they will actually go after gophers. And he's in an area right there, there are some gophers. So I'm kind of hoping maybe he's gophering. And... Not a really good vantage point anywhere from up at the barnyard. I should have rode out and checked before I shut the pump off because I'm not hand reeling that in that far. So, silly me. I guess I go fire the pump back up and go back and see if I can drill a hole in a couple of studs and run a wire. Yeah, wish me luck. And 
Hmm. We might have two Ichabods out here. I can't tell what's over here. Yeah, middle of the screen. From here, I can't tell if that's the one kitty cat or an Ichabod. Hmm. Either way, they're hunting, and that's a good thing. Maybe they get some gophers, because I haven't had much chance. I've only gotten one. Oh, well, go back to my wiring project. No sponsorship, none of that. I saw these advertised on a YouTube commercial a few years, well, quite a few years ago now. And I asked Becky to look into it. She got them for me. Absolutely love these. That is uh, another Ichabod over there. And the other one's in line with those trees right now. Slowly walking that way, but that one is leaned over the other way with its head down like it's looking into a hole waiting for something to come up. And one reason I know they go after gophers is the neighbor where I broke the rakes right across the road, straight through there, um, before he passed away. One day I'm down there talking to him and he goes, oh my God, you wouldn't believe all the commotion I just heard. Ichabod was down there and got a gopher. <clears throat> and the hawk came in and tried to take it from him. At one point he says, yeah, the hawk had a hold of it. <laughs> but that didn't last very long. So yes, they, they do like to eat gophers apparently. And I'm good with that. I just wish they'd eat more of them. Kind of like I wish we had more gopher snakes around. We've never seen one right here, but when we had the neighbors down the road, Becky saw one down there where we used to park the trailers. You know, it'd be great. He can come over here and eat all he wants. This ain't going to be any easier than yesterday. Just different. I was really hoping there was only one set of wires to the plug. Oh, no. Two sets. So, I got to put wire nuts in to hold everything together and then connect to the plug in. Then I got to get wire from here, over here, and just not sure how it's going to fish through insulation. So I'm seriously thinking about, got my little vibrating saw, just cut me a chunk out. Ty's busy mudding and taping anyway. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm kind of to that point. And these old boxes, only provisions for two holes in them, and those holes are only big enough for a wire, so I gotta sneak in and drill a hole in it. More fun. And I get over here, and probably run the wire behind, because there's not a lot of room here. Run it behind there. Bring it in behind here, kind of, and it's going to go up. There's a hole right here. Up here to a plug-in that's going to be in here someplace. And come back out in the other plug-in. i got to figure out what to do to mount it here so it's not in the way when the countertop and the counter go in. So, yay. Yeah, there's the solution. At least gets the wire over here. And this is capped on top underneath here. All you got is just clearance for that pipe to come through. And I've been trying to figure out where that vent pipe goes because it obviously has to come up. I didn't think it went that way, especially with a plug-in right there. There's not room. Drain pipes from the upstairs kitchen are here. And that is the drain for the washing machine and the vent tube for it, which comes up over there. Then to here, then up, and they all connect up here. That one comes across here to about here, then goes into the wall and up, which would be top one there coming out of the wall. So, now I know. And it's going to work out okay because 
The end of the countertop is going to be somewhere in here. That pipe's about here. That leaves me just enough room to put a box there. And not too far to jump to the other one. Fingers crossed. Well, that's there. That's pointed down because it's about the best place to put it. Wire comes out of this one to it. That one was fun. That wire goes. And yeah, I put my hole through below where I cut the slot, but I had to cut the slot to get in and fish it around. I came in below so I'd come underneath the water line. <clears throat> the other water lines this way so just got that piece back on a little furry tyke and trim that when she muds it but now I got a mess of wires to deal with I got jumpers to go to the plug-in I just got to get them all in three masses of four wires each gotta love it then I can turn the power back on. Incidentally, <clears throat> the only thing it says in the box is washing machine for that one. It's also the lights in here. So that's something we're going to figure out and write it down more, shall we say, accurately. Um, being that does those lights, it probably does the outside light off the corner here and Probably about it, I guess. <clears throat> so anyway, I got two pairs of pliers so I can twist some wires together. I really do one of those fancy things you put on the end of a drill and you just hold the wires with your plier and go zip and you're done. I've seen those, thought about those. For the couple bucks they cost, be more than worth it for what I've already had to do. And I'm sure for what I'll have to do in the future. So, oh, yay. And I don't know if I mentioned it before or not, but Becky and I realized there's an issue with buying the standard countertop. Because <clears throat> they're straight pieces cut off on a 45. So they meet in the corner. With that corner cabinet, there's a corner there that you can look right down inside the cabinet. Ain't gonna work so well. So, anyway, that's just another bridge we got across, I guess. Dang, it's a mess in here. Night before we pulled the baler out of here, the wind blew like hell. Floor was pretty clean until it did that. First time I've been in here other than, well, 10 times a day grabbing stuff. Other than putting some handles on some doors and drawers. I'm done with the rest of the tools. Finished the electrical. Even got that light hanging in the closet. And uh, made my first trip out with two big handfuls. Made it back up my second trip, and I looked up on the hill, and I went, I'm going to go put my bike in the barn. I put the bike in the barn and walked out of the barn, and I've been hitting tinkle down. Yeah, they're drying off the concrete fast, but I still see a few. So, anyway, that's kind of the day. Becky took Blakely and... Uh, where Brooke works. Brooke got off at four. And that sound, in case you didn't hear it, was why I looked that way when I came back to get my second handfuls of stuff. It's thunder in that direction. And it's warm, muggy, dog one in now. And I think the answer for that, rather than budding it, painter's putty. Or you, or, yeah, it's painter's caulk. She's just gonna dab a little over the. Now I'm gonna make him do it because he did it. Oh. So I can well, finish getting shit. shit ready for dinner. Go figure. But look, hey, there's a stovetop now. Only thing I got left in here is 2D walls and two batteries. But, let's see what this looks like with the light on. I think she's done mud. I think.
And she painted the ceiling in an idea of her hell. Light. Because, oh well. Her mother said, it's just a damn closet, don't worry about it. Well, yeah, you got a water line and drain line and the main water line's coming in and they're all right here, so. What the heck? And I don't know if it's a coat of kills on the walls or she's got paint on the walls yet. I have no idea. But there's a light bulb that Becky picked up. It's got four LED strips in it. I actually liked it up pretty nice in there. I figured it would. Of course, it came in a pack of three, so now I'm wondering what to do with the other two that are in that box. But I'm supposed to make a new fixture for in here. You're stuck with this end. It's over there at the end of the counter. All you gotta just go look. Um, the light over here has always been kind of eh. So I think I'll make something to go onto the box there with a light and come over about in here, wherever there's a stud, and put two lights on it. That's my plan. And I think two of those would really brighten it up in there. I mean, this old one, there's actually an LED bulb in that. It, it's not bad, but eh. Vicky don't see in the dark so well, so sometimes she has a hard time seeing the wash. I, I, I can do it with my eyes closed, but... And... Realized. We're going to have to play a little bit countertops. Everybody's got them all day long with a four inch backsplash, but not made for a corner cabinet. So the countertop would come to here if we got the ones we were looking at. Kind of a deficiency there. Just something I gotta figure out what to do. That's all I know. And Becky is supposed to be making Rangoons tonight. Let's see if I get the rest of the kills for that. Because uh, like Mom wanted some a long time ago, and she's been going to do it, and going to do it, and going to do it. Well, tonight's the night, so okay, you get that we got that. And now I guess I get to smear stuff on here so we can get these back in. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope your Friday was well. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Okay, I didn't get a chance to edit the video to put it up yet, so there we have it. And that's the back side of the sink, farmhouse, stainless farmhouse sink. And that was a regular cabinet that we took the panel out of and knocked the top rail out, and the sink sets right in there just perfectly. So that'll happen eventually. So there's your baby dishwasher, setting where it's going to be. I'm uh, hoping to get Scott to put a piece there, you know, kind of, kind of, so you got something. And then we got to put something at the end. In the end of a ten-foot counter, comes between the black mark and the C, right in here. So we pretty much have everything setting where it's going to be. The only thing that isn't is that butcher block table. And Becky and I have talked about it. Do we put it in here as an island? Or do we turn it and put it here as a separation between the mudroom and the kitchen? And she's always got to interrupt me and ask me questions. Oh, she wants garbage? No? Move what? Move me? Okay. I'll get the hell out of the way. Don't have to tell me ten times. Just two or three times. So, oh yeah, and she painted this. This is a piece of plywood that came off the wall in the other room over there. And it is going to cap the top of those because the way those are all made, they're the same top and bottom. Well, if you set stuff up there, it gets messy anyway. Plus, you got a half inch gap between. And what we did to make things fit appropriately, we got a four inch gap here. So, 
cap it off. You won't lose anything down it. That's my story anyway. Once again, thanks for watching.